Good morning, this is Mr. Kerbis and this is Mr. Song. So we're going to run through a video for day two, which match, we're going to begin reviewing some vocabulary from day one, just by simply matching the set notation to the description. So, given the universal set, which one goes with this there, Mr. Song? Well, it starts with a U, so I'm going to guess that it's a big U at the bottom. Excellent. So, there. universal set matches up like this. Intersection, this is the upside down U, and that indicates that it's the overlap. So the intersection is the overlap with an upside down U. And is not an element of, there's an element of symbol that looks like a, uh, an E, curly E, but it's not an element of, so it, there has to be a bar through. You've done two at once there, that's excellent. So we can get is not an element, and is an element from the same symbol there. It's a Greek symbol, isn't it? Some kind of Greek letter? I think. I don't know. There's another little cue, clue, isn't it, with the U? Mm -hmm. Which is that one? Union. So, yeah, the second one right there. Let's switch up some colors. It's getting a bit tight in here. And the empty set? Empty set looks like there's nothing, so empty means there's nothing in there. So there's like a circle with a dash through it. Empty set. Good. And the complement of a set has this little symbol up here. This is your clue. So the complement. We'll use that a lot through the probability as well. Complement of a set. Now, I've seen a little uh, C instead of a dash there too. Ah, okay. So yeah. that's to be looked out for as well. Um, right. And, and the last subset? remaining subset. Always like the last in a matching exercise. Because yeah. either it makes sense, is a subset of, or... You've it, done something wrong and... Exactly. Yeah. Then you can, can pick it up from there. So actually, there's a mistake in this worksheet, isn't there? I'm just picking up on this. This is not the symbol for subset, is it? It's this a is. proper subset. Yeah, you have to have a bar down there. So that's subset, because it could also be equal to the whole set. And just because this was a good discussion point last time, let's add a last one here. And this symbol would be a proper subset. Missed that one, but how was your class? Did you, that come up a lot in day one? Mm -hmm. But we talked about uh, proper subset and subset and the difference, differences yeah. between them. Excellent. Good. So moving along, let's have a look at some examples. And uh, Venn diagrams, I heard the students use these in other subjects as well, especially English when they're char doing uh, characters and so on, uh -huh. classifying characters in different parts of a book. Then um, there's a Venn diagram, which uses a rectangle to represent the universal set, and circles inside that rectangle to represent any subsets. If we're given the universal set, and these squiggly brackets mean the set notation, x, this line here vertically is such that x is less than or equal to 10, and x is contained in the set as an element of the positive integers. Okay, that's a lot to swallow there. S is equal to the integers 1, 2, 5, and 6. T is equal to the integers 1, 2, 3, and 4. So in this case, we could represent that all. You notice here, uh, where's my highlighter up here somewhere? In the pen, yeah. In here? Ah, yeah, excellent. Here, those ones are in both, for example. So they're in the intersection, the overlap. Okay, and as we go down, we're going to use some of the symbols that we just did in the matching exercise to identify from these four different Venn diagrams what the shaded area represents. Want to start with number one? Uh, okay, so the subset B is inside of subset A, so B is a proper subset of A. Good. Could you also use this symbol? Is this episode? Yes, because that is also true. Perfect, good. Here, we talked a little bit about this overlap as having meaning, and that overlap there is the intersection. You notice these ones, one and two in that case in the first example, are in both, and we call those the intersection. So we use the upside down U, it's the intersection of A and B. In the third example, you notice that the subsets A and B are all highlighted, including the intersection, and that's the union of A and B. A, union, B. 
This one's strange. We've got nothing shaded here. How are we mm -hmm. going to represent that? Mm, I don't know. Let's go back and Let's, have a quick yeah. look. Let's look at the symbols. Hmm, nothing is highlighted. Could it be the empty set? All right, so that is simply the empty set. And there's another way to represent this, which is just a squirrely bracket beside a another squirrely bracket. Right, there's nothing in the set, <laughs> right. And Excellent. So, carrying on, now we're given the symbols and we're going to work to the shading. Let's grab a highlighter here. Green looks like a good color. A, intersection B. Where is that going to be? Right in the middle, the intersection of both. And I get a little bit trickier with this complement. So, A, intersection with not B. So, this is your A and we're going to overlap it with everything that's not B. Well, everything that's not B has to be outside of B. The intersection is the overlap, so this is everything that's in A but is not in B. Actually, let me go back here for a second. And when I do something like this, I um, try to highlight or uh, do one thing at a time. So. I would start with, okay, I'm going to highlight A. Oh, let me erase this for a second. Undo all the work that Mr. Kerbis has done. Mm -hmm. So this yellow part is A. Good. Right? Okay, and then I'll say this is A, and here is B. And then I want to uh, color in the B complement. So maybe I'll use a red part and say, okay, the red complement is here. Everything that's not in, or B complement, sorry. And since I want the intersection, I'm interested in the portion that's highlighted twice, right? So I know it's going to be here. There. The green part. Good. So with the intersection, then you shade everything, and then you look at what is shaded twice. So the intersection, the overlap. All right, and then I'll do something similar here. So A complement, let's say this circles A, and here is B. A complement is going to be everything except A. There, and B. So I'm going to use a different color. It's a color in B. And since I want the union of A complement and B, now anything that's colored in, I'm going to count. So using the green. So the final answer is in green. There. And the unions are easier to do than the intersections in my mind, because you, right. you just get to shade away. So there you go. Mm -hmm. So in the last one, then similar strategy. I like this from Mr. Song. Let's use two different colors. Start with shading everything that's in A. I'll use red. Union it with everything that's not B. Okay, not B. So everything that's not Good. And then consistency, let's use green for the final. There you go. Excellent. And uh, if, you, if you like at the end to make it easier for us to mark with the intersection of A and not B in the top right, you could also erase the things the, the rough working is not necessary as long as you clearly identify for us what it is that was your final answer or sorry is your final answer then um, then we're happy but uh, you could write even write a sentence like green is the final answer or something but make sure that um, you don't accidentally leave the intersection as the answer for the for the sorry leave the union as the answer for the intersection good point. I think there's a couple more down there let's scroll down and find out Two more. yeah so a, 
intersection with B, we d figured out above that was the middle bit, the overlap, mm -hmm. and okay. we want the complement of that. So the A intersection B is, here's A and here's B, right here. And we want the complement of it, that means anything except this. So I'm going to take my green highlighter and highlight everything outside. I'm not very good at coloring. It's a pretty thick highlighter. There it is. Okay. Some of our students are also not good at coloring, but as long as I get the main point across, we're happy, right? Yeah. And then I'll erase the middle part. There. Good. Mm -hmm. And finally, we have the union of A or B. Right? The union of A and B, or we often use the, the word or for the union and and for the intersection. So that that's getting all of A or B, but then we're going to have the complement. So we'll shade outside of this. So the blue is the working, and the highlighted green is the final answer. And then we'll build this up to have actual elements. But before you can move to the element discussion, Whoa, you went with the big eraser there. Yeah, that's taking risks. <laughs> it's one of the IB things, like risk taker. Learner profile. Yeah.